The queue goes around for more than a kilometer. People wait patiently for their turn to enter the Grand Palace in Bangkok, where the body of the late King Pumipon Atunyedet lies in state. In two weeks, he would have turned 89. And the government has organized a series of events to commemorate the occasion. In the morning, the Prime Minister led officials in pledging allegiance to the monarchy before singing the royal anthem. After I've learned about all of the things he has done for the people and the country, I respect him even more. People are being encouraged to do good deeds, which, according to Buddhist beliefs, can help the deceased gain enlightenment, the ultimate goal in Buddhism. Tanya Pon Tongkak, who's here to pay her respects to the late king, says her way of making merit for him is to meditate. Meditation is the highest form of doing good. It is the best thing that you can give. One of the government organized events is this cleaning up the Chao Phraya River in Bangkok. The government is encouraging people to post pictures or videos of their good deeds on social media. At the end of the two-week campaign, the best clips will be broadcast to mark the late king's birthday on December 5th. King Pumipon was the world's longest reigning monarch and viewed by many ties as a stabilizing figure in the country. He may no longer be here. But many here say his legacy can still unite a nation. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.